Hello Shadow Box out there, today in this vlog I'm going to be telling you guys all about what I got to on my Friday evening, my Saturday and my Sunday. I hope you guys have all had a lovely weekend and you're all having a good rest and that you are all ready for the week ahead. On my Friday evening I had the second part to my split shift. I got back to work, got clocked in again and put my bag away and it was me and two of my colleagues on shift and I was just getting lots of toast jobs done and it was pretty quiet so one of our colleagues was able to go home early and it was just me and one other colleague on shift and we were just getting more of the toast jobs done had a few bookings and a few customers come in and so I was doing a few food and drink orders and bill taking and cleaning tables and was selling some food and drinks and doing some drinks making and then I finished, we finished at about 11.40 ish, I clocked off, got my bag and then my colleague I closed with kindly dropped me home. I then got back and one of the chefs had made a duplicate of a food order that he didn't mean to make so I was able to have a bit of the food that they made to or by mistake and my colleague who got to go early had one half and I had the other half and I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now. It was so delicious, it was a flatbread with lamb and mint sauce and it was so delicious. I had that when I got back and I got into my PJs, wrote the last little bit of my journal for the day, put that away and then I was watching the UK soaps, just a bit of music and I just been listening to Kylie's new album Tension which is so good, I love Hold On To Now and yeah it's just such a great song, such a great album and then my older brother and his girlfriend were watching TV in my older brother's room and his girlfriend was down to stay for the weekend and I then went off to bed and then on my Saturday I got up ready for work and I was doing a split shift I did a split shift Friday and I was doing a split shift Saturday back to back splits oh god and I got showered and changed had some cereal for my breakfast and my dad was sort of stuff on the house older brother and his girlfriend had gone out for breakfast my mum was asleep younger brother at work, older sister at hers, and younger sister at hers, and then my dad dropped me off to work, and I was doing 11 till 3, and then doing a 5 till 10, and I got dropped at the high street to go off to the child shops and have a look in the flower shops just before work, so I got dropped up about 10ish, and didn't start till 11, so I was able to go into the flower shop, and I got some flower flowers, I'm going to show you guys now. Some lovely colourful flower snaps. Love flower photography so much. I also got some plants out from there that I'm going to show you guys now. Love the plant section. Love the suckers and cactuses and the plants hanging from the window. It's like a little jungle. I then got to work, I got clocked in and put my bag away and I made myself a coconut milk cup of tea, I love coconut milk cups of tea and it was me and four other colleagues on shift and it started off quite calm, there were quite a few people coming for breakfast and I saw and chatted to some of the workers, made a fuss of some of the dogs and gave them some water bowls and some dog treats and then I was just on bar doing lots of food and drink orders and bill taking and cleaning tables and it started getting quite busy and I was wanting for lots of food and drinks and cleaning tables inside and outside as it's quite a nice sunny day, lovely weather for the first of autumn and so we had a lot of people outside as well as inside and I was making sure the back of the restaurant was all happy and my other colleague was doing the front of our workplace and so we were making sure all the tables were cleaned and I was potting cutlery and putting clean cuts and plates away and then we had quite a busy lunch rush 
and we had lots of food tickets on and drink tickets on and it was quite stressful but we got through it, we smashed it, got a great team and then one of my colleagues was supposed to fish at 2 and it was like 2.30 so he then went off and I then was able to fish at 2.45 as it then had crashed and down again and so I clocked off, got my bag, changed into my jumper as it was a little bit nippy outside and then I went off and got myself some lunch and I went off to one of the flower shops and got some flower sets on there that I'm going to show you guys now. Such lovely colourful flower snaps. I then had a nice chat with the flower shop keepers in there. I then made way back and my uncle and cousin were over with my grandma and we got ready to go off to watch my older brother play rugby. My old sister and older brother's girlfriend were already down there and my dad went down there and I was going to be going off with him but then I had gone upstairs to sort something out and he had gone off so I ended up going down with my uncle and cousin instead and we dropped our grandma back to hers and then we headed down to the rugby and I had a cola and a cheese onion roll from the clubhouse and my old brother's team won so that was very good and the weather was great, great rugby watching weather and I saw and chatted to loads of people I hadn't seen for ages as normally I'm working so I didn't normally get down to watch the games so it felt good to be able to get time to go down and watch my older brother play and then my dad got me and we went off home and I got myself ready to go back to work for my second part of my split shift and then he dropped me back up to work. I then got clocked in and put my bag away and it was me and two other colleagues on shift and it was just me and my supervisor until my other colleague got in at six and then we just spent most of the shift just getting close down jobs done. It was pretty quiet and we had a few people come in for food and drinks and saw some of the regulars so we chatted with them and I was doing some drink making and some food and drink orders and bill taking, just cleaning tables and my family friend came in and I was chatting with him and I did a latte on my own which I was very proud of and I showed him that and I got to the finish at 10 and I clocked off and got my bag and then I got picked up, headed home and got fish and chips for tea and I had fish cake and chips which is very nice and I then watched a bit of Kingsman and my older brother and his girlfriend were up in his room and so I chatted with them for a bit. I then watched Strictly and it was so good, love all the glitz and glam, loving having Strictly back and then Bake Off was back on Tuesday which is so exciting, love a bit of Bake Off. I then finished writing my journal, put that away had some cereal and then just watched some stuff on Netflix and got my uniform ready for work the next day. I then got up on my Sunday and I got showered and changed and had some toast and a cup of tea for my breakfast and was watching some TV just before work. My dad then dropped me off to work and my older brother and his girlfriend were watching Strictly from last night and she was heading off so I said goodbye to her before going to work and my older sister was at hers, older brother at his and younger sister at hers and mum was still asleep. I then got to work and got clocked in and put my bag away and I made myself a coconut milk cup of tea which I love, love coconut milk, it just tastes like you're tasting, a, you're drinking a cup of bounty chocolate and I love bounty chocolate so much. Then I was just running food and drinks, doing food and drink orders and bill taking and cleaning tables and I saw and chatted to some of the regulars. It started off going quite quiet and then it picked up and one of our colleagues was running late so it was just me and two other colleagues so luckily it wasn't too busy. They didn't arrived and I was like what time do you call this? And he'd got a puncher in his bike so that's why he was running late, bless him. And then it got quite busy and we had lots of people inside and outside. We had cyclists come in, we had lots of people with prams, so we had lots of high chairs, there was toys everywhere, crowns everywhere, lots of food and cups and plates and stuff everywhere. So I was doing a massive clean up and it's very noisy, couldn't hear myself think. And we had a good place playing, so I caught myself dancing a few times while I was at the bar waiting for customers to come up to the bar to order. And we had a great team on again. And one of my colleagues was 
frustrating me a bit and we did get a bit it got a bit like stressful because it got quite busy so i was about to strangle them but i love them really i love my work family we all get them really well we're all very close but i think sometimes when it's stressful we can like in any job it can get quite stressful and then you get a bit like ah and so i went out into the cellar to decide to get something from there and i was like Breathe. count to ten it's fine we're fine and it then calmed down again and we did lots of cleanups, pottering, cutting, putting clean cups and plates away, and then I finished it free, and it was then getting quite busy again, and I was done by then. I was like, I need to go home. I was absolutely knackered, and one of our colleagues who's on a split shift went home early, so they went off, and then it got busy again. So I was then just wanting lots of food and drinks, clean tables making sure all the tables were tidy and everyone was happy and then it was changed over and two of my colleagues who were doing the evening shifts doing free till close came on so I just told them what I've done and what hasn't been done I then clocked off, got my bag and I headed off to go get my lunch from the co-op I then went off to the castle and got some autumn castle photography let me show you guys now So beautiful, I love all the red autumnal leaves all over the castle. I also got a snap of the courtyard with the water fountain that I'm going to show you guys now. Love that water fountain so much, it's so beautiful. I can remember when they put that in and I just love it. I also love the little bench next to it that I've sat on before and just watched the world go by. I then made way back and I got back and I got changed and put my work clothes in the wash. I cannot believe I'm not off for four days. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it stays that many days because now my life I'm gonna have to cover for someone. Hopefully not, fingers crossed, taking that out of existence. And then I had my lunch. I sorted out my beauty at doll, wrote a bit of my journal, had a cup of tea and some biscuits, listened to a bit of music, and was just reading a bit of the order boss as before, trying to finish that. I'm then gonna be trying to finish off the last Heartstopper book for now until the new ones come out and then I need to start reading Red, White and Royal Blue. I love the film and I cannot wait to start reading the book as well, which is based off of and it is I've read a little bit of it and then I stopped because I literally have such a bad habit of starting reading loads of books all at once because I just want to read them all in one go. And yeah, I then had a little bit of a nap. I then got up and I was just listening to a bit of music, working with some illustrations, did a bit of drawing, a bit of colouring in, a little bit of writing. And then my old brother was watching my older sister play rugby at the rugby club and I was going to go head down but I didn't, I was going to go but then there was no way of me getting down there and I was going to walk but it's down a country lane and my mum and dad were like no, don't go down there because you don't want to be getting hit over because cars go quite fast on there so in the end I didn't do that and I just went off for a little evening stroll and I got a snap of this beautiful reef like flower reef and I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now so pretty it's on my grandma's neighbour's front door my family friends and they're so lovely and they have some sunflowers on the like they're growing like on the fence next to my grandparents' house, which is so pretty. And I tried to get a selfie in front of the fence with the sunflowers on, but it wasn't working. And then my grandma's neighbor's friends came over, so she came out and saw me. And so I was like, do you mind if you get a photo in front of the sunflowers for me? And she's like, no worries. And she took the photo, and I'm gonna show you guys that photo now. I absolutely love it. The photo came out really well. You can see my ears. For some reason in selfies, I always have to have my ears showing. I don't know why. It's a bit weird, but I like that. I like that. And my hair looks great. I look slim. Stripes are slimming. That's why I've got the stripes on. Love the stripes. Didn't look too shabby, so I was very grateful that she took the photo. I was then chatting with her, and she's expecting a child. And I didn't actually know 
until I went to my colleague's house who lives around the corner and she mentioned it and I said, like, I didn't know, I, I would have congratulated her. So I felt bad. I was going to go back and knock on the door and just congratulate her. But I said, no, she's got friends over. She's not going to want me pestering her again. So I said, I'll just have to see her another time and congratulate her then. Or if you're watching this, congratulations. And then I made way back. I then got back and it was getting quite gloomy out. So I got back and I thought it was going to rain, but luckily it didn't. And I'm hoping the weather's nice for the next few days. Because on Tuesday, me and one of my colleagues are going to be going up to Dobby's. We're going to walk up and back. So fingers crossed the weather's okay. As long as it doesn't rain, I don't mind. It was, I just wanted to stay dry. If it's a bit chilly, that's fine. But I just hope it doesn't rain. And then I was just watching some Netflix, just a bit of music, just a drawing and colouring in, did some ticks or something, posted those, wrote about my journal, sorted out my beauty doll, and was just doing a little bit of colouring in on the colouring on my phone, which is super therapeutic. Then my old brother and sister got back from my old sister's rugby game, and she got elbowed in the face, so we put an ice pack on her face, and so she was feeling a little bit achy, bless her. And my mum was getting the tea ready, and the Sunday was smart so good and then my younger brother and his girlfriend came over for the Sunday roast and we had the Sunday roast and I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now. The Sunday roast was so delicious I've been thinking about the Sunday roast all day it was one of the only things keeping me going that and my coconut teas which I love and then we had some pudding and we had a bit of lemon drizzle cake which is my younger brother's girlfriend favourite cake and it was a birthday whilst they were away in Bali so we got her lemon drizzle cake for her which we know she loves and then my dad brought it out and we sang happy birthday to her and we then had a bit and I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now. The lemon drizzle cake was so delicious and then we tied it away, we then watched a bit of Matilda and just let our food go down and then we were just chatting about their trip to Bali, it looked amazing and they had a great time. The photos and videos that we saw looked so good and I'm glad they had a great time. And then we were sorting out the Secret Santa like online thing where you could do a wish list and you pick your person who you've got. I do not know who I'm gonna who what I'm gonna get for who I've got, but I will just have to wing it or I'm probably gonna have to tell the person partner and see if they can help me but yeah we'll just have to see how it goes and yeah I cannot believe we, we've done Secret Santa already I mean it's only September then again it's only like 92 days which is insane cannot believe how fast it is going it's crazy you know what they say time flies when you're having fun and all that and yeah it's just going so quickly cannot believe it's almost October almost spooky season cannot wait and my workplace are getting their autumn food menu sorted out and it looks amazing cannot wait hopefully fingers crossed they put pancakes back on the menu which I love love pancakes so much blueberry pancakes especially and we get paid tomorrow which I'm so happy about although my older brother and his girlfriend have challenged me to not buy any Greg's frappes yum yums any cakes anything like that for a week they've tried to challenge me to for a week so we'll see how that goes and yeah hopefully i don't fail but on tuesday i'm off to the garden center so i said i probably have something there and she was like why well, that's your only treat for the week so i'm gonna try and not buy any hot chocolates or anything like that or any cake and try and be good fingers crossed it works Hopefully I can manage not to buy anything like that for a week and yeah, it'll be good. It will also be good for my health and also be good for my bank balance as well because I do not want to be spending too much money and then I was just watching some episodes of Friends and watching some TikToks and vlogs and I then was just listening to a bit of Kylie, love her new album so much and my older brother and sister have gone off to my workplace to do the quiz with some of their mates and I booked a table 
I had forgotten to do it in the daytime because it was just so busy. So in the evening, I quickly messaged my colleague and they were able to put them in few. And then my younger brother and his girlfriend went off home and my mum and my dad and myself were just watching a bit of TV. I then finished writing my journal, put that away, had some cereal and was just watching some vlogs and TikToks and funny videos and sent some clips, funny clips to my sisters and we were showing them back and forth. Normally it's just Christmas memes between me and my younger sister, which are, we are Christmas mad and I'm so excited. I watched Love Actually the other day. I don't care if it's September. I love that film so much. It's so well written, so beautifully cast. I mean, Emma Thompson and Keanu Knightley and so many other great actors in that film. And the ending is just so beautiful. Love it so much. And I then was just watching some stuff off the cord and I'm now off to go and chill for the rest of my Sunday evening and cannot wait to have these next few days off and not have to set an alarm and get a lion. And yeah, I cannot wait for that. And going up to the garden centre on Tuesday, probably gonna go to the flower shops tomorrow, maybe have a look at the child shops. And I'm hoping it's still there because I have seen something in one of the child shops that I think my secret Santa might like, so I think I might head up and try and nab that. Fingers crossed it's still there. And yeah, I hope you guys have all had a lovely weekend. All have a great week ahead. Please like, comment and subscribe and I shall see you with a new vlog coming very soon. Bye.